So we've done just about two and a half hours for now. Just having a nice chill time here. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From Whistling Straits Golf Course on the shores of Lake Michigan, live second round Two of, the day. of the Wisconsin Open. But if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here. 645 yard par five. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including a massive leader. bunker on the left there. On approach to the green. So let's get out and join the fray as we pick things up on the team. Four holes and left. I'm assuming that's including this one. So is that four holes or is this like five holes really? Very nice straight drive. Or swing rather. What is going on there? That was a great drive. Um, that, a well -placed It'll and I put fade on it. Like that one, as this indeed rolls into the sand. Okay, <laughs> what has happened here? My swing's just gone completely to shit. Too casual with the first one wasn't the first one was a good swing. Um, had to find the fairway. Instead, this hole's just getting a little more difficult. Stuck the that that looks good. Really good. Look at that. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot in the left for club face. So after all that, I've got a nine footer for a birdie. Eight feet remaining here for birdie. Nice. Okay, that ball off what a strange um, hole that was. Here at 11. And he's got it to three under now. Just two back. Up next, it is three under? Oh, you mean three under for the day. Okay. Ball, but don't be fooled. The 163 yard par 312 has the most challenging green at Whistling Straits. Oh, wow. Look at that. Sort of almost like a double green there. This is going to be a tricky one. This looks decent. That's pretty decent. It's very windy. Okay, that will finish on the front of the green and with the pin cut front right. A birdie try forthcoming. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. Well, I've really been impressed with how he's handled the speed on the greens, but this one is going to be a tester down the hill. Nice putt. Yeah, that's not bad. Very nice putt. Just missed, but that was uh, giving it a good chance to go in. If you can, uh, I should have watched that really. Massive drop offs and bunkers to the right. Doubtfully, you'd ever get a good lie if you missed this fairway on the right. So, flip side, keep the ball down the left. Yeah, I could feel that was a bit slow there, but. Didn't wait a little bit. That's fine. Is it just the first cut? That's fine. Now, it's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. 
All right, so just a step or two into that first cut. Here's his second to the par four. It's probably going to go a bit right, so. It's looking good, is it? Oh, that's a bit unlucky, I think. Got the Texas wedge. Let's try it. I haven't put it from off the air uh, green yet. No, that's good. Better than a chip. Good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, safely into par here at 13. And he's going to stay two back. Frank, any major championship gives you a good mix of holes. We've had some long ones, and now this one just under 400 yards. But it will punish you if you're offline. There's trouble left and the mounds and the bunkers on the right. So ideally, it's a positional tee shot. one up the right side gonna try and draw it back in yeah didn't really draw long drive but a bad lot mm. uh, wicked so he may need to choke up on this one as he gets set for his second is that like a oh there we go move the camera a little bit it's not the best camera is it why is that travel so far? A bit of spins helped. Well, that's a good shot out of the rough. I know that's out the rough, really. Like that 10 15 feet past the flag, but uh, really 12, so to miss about 50. The front of the green. Maybe about 50. Definitely gonna go left to right. Okay. Good swing. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag. Yeah, they can't all go in. Yeah, a little bit under hit. And a little bit uh, too wide. Yeah, That's pretty good though, six under. So for our featured golfer Frank, they're in good position here for the tied for six. A couple of shots back of our leader. Basically, it's just birdie bogey and the tide. I think that's the way we've got to look at it. Come uh, tomorrow. Let's jump into the next round then. Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. So we are one under for the, the day, seven under. Of Wisconsin Type of fifth. Whistling straight. It's live third round coverage of the Wisconsin Open. Par four, Which just about 500 yards. Okay. The 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay the third and Diona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top of the leaderboard at eight under par. We head out to the course. Good swing. Pick up the action on the tee. How's it going to fare? The par four fourth. That looks good. If it doesn't turn left at all. Yeah. Ah, uh, you can't drive it much better than that. That's the quick pickup of the tee. Yes. Right down the middle. Second shot. Balls above our feet, so we'll go a bit left. 
apologies for that noise there. Here at Whistling Straits, it's challenging enough. You just have to find the fairway. That's what we've done here. So, still a chance of making a par or better. Feet, so a bit left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to fade it in, I think. Look at that swing line. That was dreadful. Dreadful swing line, but it's actually a decent shot in the end. 21 foot, I'll take that. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at Birdie. And this very makeable here. I see almost no break. Almost no break. I am going to aim a little bit left though. Maybe about ball. Perfect. Oh, how about it? A beauty there. It is in for a birdie. And he gets it to two under for today's round and eight under for the tournament. Now the fifth hole, Frank. What a, what a putt five. that was. Well, strategic par five. It's almost the shape of an S. That's why it's called snake. Um, the best snake. and most conservative way to play this hole is just simply play it as a three shot. T shot down the left, second shot up there, and then just take the. Ah, uh, this one. Yeah. I am definitely going to fade this one because uh, last time it went way left. This one started up the right side. <sighs> A little bit lucky there. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. No chance. It's a smart play to take it down the left hand side here at the fifth hole, and most likely we're looking at three shots from here on in. Yeah, definitely. So the three iron. A wonky swing line, but that should be fine. And just a 70 yard approach to the hole. Try and spin it back a tiny bit, go past the hole, spin it back. Oh, perfection. Four footer here for birdie. Yeah, that's good putt. Very nice. Birdie here at one. And he's worked it to nine under par. In the lead. Soul leader. Another scenic view off the tee. It's a 409 yard par four. Yeah, the hole is well bunkered around the 300 yard mark. Ideally, you want to have that tee shot just short of that, then it's not too hard a second shot. Okay, doesn't look too difficult at par 4. That doesn't mean it can't go wrong, obviously. That looks decent. It's gone too far left. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. Just that stayed out of the first cut there. Right there. 100 yards to the hole. Iona, a second coming up. Yeah, and this sixth hole is the shortest on the front nine, known as Gremlin's Ear. That's because of the unique shape of this green. Thankfully, the pin today is in the front portion. Definitely more accessible, but beware of those bunkers short right. Uh, maybe you don't want to play it too. Hi, do I? Blow, that'll go right. I think I'm going to do a high draw. Yeah, because it will go right because it's below my feet. A bit of a dodgy swing lane. See how it went right there? This looks good. Oh no, look, too much spin. Ah! 
I was thinking it might be, but I think I'm going to go for the putter. Yeah, that'll do. From there, I'll take that. That's a shame though, I could have really got it close. I think I was just sort of in between clubs, uh, but I should have just dropped off some of the air. Uh, I should have played a low shot. What an interesting part three this is. The seventh is 221 yards. There is trouble to the right, and it is nicknamed. Now, this is a par three where you definitely I think, uh, those people that just want to get it on the green. The flag, then that's where they will pay a, a high price. There's nothing wrong with being a little left of the flag here. Like, I do not think you want to risk this at all. Really well struck. And that's exactly what I was playing. Safe. Not right at the hole or anything. All right, you don't have to catch 40 foot. Uh, that'll do. Every time. That's on the middle of the dance floor. And a birdie putt coming Seven out. inches down. Looks like it's about 35. Right. I think about the 36. idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three foot circle. I think we'll play... Two and a half grid lines. Good strike. It's probably going to turn more than I thought as well. That's good. That's, That's a good shot. You know, it's I mean, you think from that probably was about three grid lines. Are, uh, almost none. So to guarantee a two putt, well done. That one finished off. It'll be a part here at seven. And he's going to remain at 10 under. Okay. Tell you what, Frank, for our featured golfer, so we're two behind to going more. into the uh, day three. Just two last round. What do you think? Yeah, I'm with you, Rich. There. I mean, two shots are so close. And um, we'll do that now, and then we'll probably call it a day for the stream. Because uh, I'm off to go and see the family today. It's uh, Easter Friday here in the UK. Um, so I'm off work. I'm actually off work for 10 days. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From Sheboygan, Wisconsin, it's live final round coverage. 17 under. Of opening event. The Wisconsin Open. Well, wow, I'm not going to win this tournament, are we? This has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the Again, like a top ten finish. Sunday afternoon. Some good names up there. Uh, our fourth place at the moment. So, so let's get out to the course. Four holes left. Deep into the round as we 15, 16, to the 17, 18. Yeah, so when it says fours, it's, it's including this hole. Do we want to draw it? No, probably don't really. Just hit it straight. Nope, that's uh, saying it's bad. Naturally, when I swing, it feels like I am pulling back too far right and pushing back too far left when I'm doing it correctly. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did. That makes right sense. There. This is where club selection doesn't feel natural so to, to do it. Shot into that um, stiff breeze. I think we will play that. Play this as a flat three iron. Hopefully, it'll just get on the green and just make its way up. Good strike. And that's pretty much spot on to where I was aiming. Ah, it's just caught the fairway. If I caught the green, I might have bounced a bit further. 
Well, it's going to be a lengthy putt mm. for birdie, but on a long approach like that, anything on the green is a welcome oh sight. I mean, this is just getting it somewhere close, so... Yeah, one, two, three, four, in about five grid lines over here, and... I think power-wise, we should be okay. See, when we hit it right, now we've hit it right. It's killing probably a lot more than what we... Thought. Eight inches the hole. That's really good. That put on the brakes just a little short of Absolutely perfect. That in. It's a shame that's all for a par. Okay, safe um, for his par. And he'll remain right where he is. Ten on the Getting set to take on the finishing no chance we can get those uh, top two spots. Close this out on the right foot, Frank. Well, this is the shortest I think this is one that we want to just aim to. If we can get Sol third place, let's have a quick look. Ah, uh, uh, no, there's no way we're going to get third. If we can keep fourth spot, that would be good. Um. I mean, before this, a top 10 finish I probably would have taken. That's a very nice shot. And... Do we want to... Yeah, let's do this. Felt a little bit slow. It is, but very good line. Spot on. We're not going for the green there, we're just trying to get as close as possible. Can we So where's that aiming? That might come back, you know. I know that's gone a fair bit past the hole, but... Bit of a dodgy swing lane, but this, this should spin back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, alright. <laughs> Didn't think it would spin that much. We turn to Notavage the third for this look at birdie. And this is a putt you should make seven out of ten times. Looks to be dead straight, nothing to push it offline. Spot on, he was right. I did aim slightly right, maybe half a ball, and that was about perfect. I don't think that's a 7 out of 10. I mean, for a pro, it probably is, but uh, very nice putt. He was just adding the pressure on even more. I'm thinking, oh, this isn't a, the easiest to put it. Yeah, 7 out of 10. 250 yard par 3. It's going to be interesting. Um, Alright. So, probably going to do a high fade with a wood. Oh, this is going to be... And the wind's pretty bad. It's a bit of a dodgy swing, but... That looks decent. That looks pretty decent. I'll take that. 40 footer, maybe. 30 foot. That's all right. Play there, right in the middle of the green. Up seven. Just made one on the previous hole. This slightly longer for another birdie. It's a little bit right or left. Didn't hit it. 
Didn't hit it. But again, I would have taken a par. 250 yard, par 3, I'll take a par for that one. Unquestionably, the best finishing holes in golf require your best shots. You want to win the championship, you need to deliver down the stretch. Oof. 520 yards, par 4, 18th here at Whistling Straits. Look at that quarry down there. You can come in with a shorter iron if you take the aggressive line off the tee. But that's a 270-yard carry over the dunes and bunkers. If you want to play it safe, you go down the right side. That's going to leave you a longer shot in. You make four here, you will have earned it. You make three you will have likely won it all. Again, a bit of a dodgy swing line. That'll be good. Yeah, that's a nice swing in the result. Look at that, absolutely perfect. It's going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. 303 yards. Ball's going to be above my feet, so this will go right or left. Breeze at his back shoulder as he but the wind up is counteracting that a little bit. Um, so that's going to go right or left. Yeah, that should be about right. Maybe, maybe a high draw. Oh, this looks good. Is it a bit too hard? I mean, it is, but stop there. Stop, 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 stop. I couldn't have really played it any better um, well, from that distance. Well, that's as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a this chance. This needs to be about... I'm going to aim about 31 foot. It's right or left. Maybe about a grid line and a half. This would be a great way to finish if this went in. Just trying to get it close, really. But that is a good line. Keep going. Oh! Oh, that is not fair. That did everything but go in the hole. Okay, I'm happy with that though. 11 under. Fourth spot, I believe we've got. Yep, yeah, sole fourth spot. I'll take that. Very good. Well, 7800 yards is one of the longest courses you can play. But uh, this golf course extracts every single ounce of game out of you. Frank, it certainly was a challenge. For my partner, Frank Novello, and all of us here at EA Sports, we say so long for now from Whistling Straits. <laughs> Excuse me. Really enjoyed that course. Um, I think there's... Uh, did they say there's like 30 courses in the game, I believe? Someone said that. I don't know how true that is. And that's a lot of courses. I know the one thing that um, 2K23 has got in this game is the course designer, which is amazing. And obviously, if you've watched my videos before, um, I've done lots of videos on, on other people's courses, especially Pro Spartan Gamer, who designed some amazing courses on there. It'd be great if EA had that, but EA tend to, in any of their games, go for the more realistic sort of... Uh, what's the word? Well, they, they, they always try and get, you know, like the official licenses for things, so I never thought they would do a, a course designer. Um, you know, they'll go out and buy the rights for certain courses. And if there is 30 courses in this, I think that's like more than enough. Like realistically, are you going to go out there and play 50, 60 different courses? Me personally, not. Um, but I do understand that the course designer was a massive thing in 2K23. Um, but yeah. Absolutely really enjoying this game so far. And do you know what? I'm finding it difficult and I like that. I'm glad I'm not going out and scoring 
10, 15 under each round. Um, I mean, as you can see, I've, I, I haven't won a tournament yet or anything like that. So I'm, I'm getting better when we do get in the PGA Tour eventually. It's going to be a struggle again because the, uh, the opposition is going to be harder. But anyway, we're going to call it a day there. Really happy with this. I think it's a really good game for live streams. Obviously, I'll put the videos on YouTube as well. But um, yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below whether you've actually got this game, what you think of it, um, compared to a 2K23 golf game. I think, personally, from early views, I'm going to prefer this one. Um but time will tell. But thank you very much again, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.